Like, you guys need to be careful. This time me, Haley, and the boys are out after some fish so we can try some Gayutaku fish art. But first we gotta catch a fish and we're at Denman Wildlife Ponds in Medford. <laughs> Trying to catch some fish so we can do some fish art with the, uh, you stamp them onto a piece of paper and make art. We're gonna try that. Hopefully we get one. Haley's using the old swim bait, and uh, I'm using a Cinco worm. Abel uh, is using a bobber and a little jig, and man, might have to switch. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to recast your pole. Why? You don't have to, but. Nah, I just like top one when I was hanging. Better get out here. Better get out there. Does it start cracking in my phone? Ready to tech the new spot out? Yeah. Battle, battle. We gotta see if uh, we can find some fish. The first spot we checking out, nothing. That's where they keep the pheasant for the youth pheasant hunt. See those bird cages? And uh, when Abel gets a little older, we'll definitely be taking him out here. He could probably do it in the next couple years. So, cool area, Denman Wildlife area. We'll explore later. All right, guys, we just fished this pond back here for a good half hour or so. Haley got one by Abel's the only one with a real fish on. And uh, basically, we're gonna try to sneak into some of these other ponds that are, they're legal to fish, but I just think they might be getting less pressure and we might have better luck. We shall see. been trying to fish in this little pond it was super hellacious getting down here through all the, the gnarly briars and stuff they got like little nesting boxes it's pretty cool but pretty sure uh, Haley's running away she's sick of it so it's just River and I Hey, bud. <laughs> we tried fishing for quite a while. Couldn't catch anything at these places. We know there's fish there, but if you guys have any luck, let us know, or if you know how to catch them. Drag the child. So we decided to head back towards home. Careful, there's ticks. Just had a tick in my neck. That's a live one. Mm. There's two. What was that thing? Oh, wacky. Oh, yeah, it did.
What are you doing, Abel? Trying to get the spider out of here. There's a spider right next, right here. Trying to dig it away until. Getting rained out. I think we're gonna call our quits here. Head to the home pond, see if we can stack a couple, a bluegill and a bass, and do our uh, art. Uh, what's it called, babe? You know? Uh, Gaim. Gaia taco? Gaia taco, some Gaia kind of Gaia art. Taco? We're very new to this. Here's the fish we could have caught today. A bluegill. Babe, what, what, what kind of fish did we catch today? Nothing. <laughs> Pretty place to come take your family though. It is. One time, um, I think it was last summer we came here and uh, I got a really good bite. I think it was maybe like a four or five pounder that I got. And um, it broke my line though. <laughs> and so, we were bummed about that, but that was the only thing that we like hooked on besides Abel catching one today that broke off his too. So the Whoa. fish out here are fighters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These guys are loaded with ticks. Yep. He's got just ticks crawling all over him. Well, Quinn, I know. I gotta get you. That's She's helping I'm you. I'm trying to help you. That's one tick. Okay, lift your belly. That's crazy. <gasps> Dude, stop, it's stop, fine. Stop, oh my stop, gosh. Stop, stop, stop. They're just ticks. I know. He's Cute. never had one on him. I never, ever had one. They're probably in your crack. Do I have any? I don't know, probably not. No, well, we're out of there. Oh. Haley just keeps finding ticks on her that are burrowing in. <laughs> Look at these little guys. Look at them. I'm kind of curious because so far I don't think that I have any. But I mean, I don't see how I wouldn't. Oh, yeah, look. Oh my god. She's got so many ticks, dude. Oh wow. Yeah, no. There's ticks everywhere. There is. There was that one was on in you. Dude, I'm like that one was You guys on look like now. tweakers. Shut up. <laughs> yes. Shut up. Guys, tell me what's up with that. I don't get ticks. They do. I don't Even get mosquito bit. Shut up. As much they do. Yeah, Abel and I, that was what, like eight? Yeah. Between me and Abel? Yeah. Eight ticks? I don't think I have any. Maybe one or two, but we'll find out later. 20th? Yeah, so this is like a half hour later. She's still picking ticks off of Abel's shirt and her shirt. You guys need to be careful, like, out in the woods, you guys. Just put your VR goggles on and never leave the house. Oh my gosh, he's been giving me shit this whole time now. <laughs> Look at John. John in his window. We found like 20 ticks on him and I so far. Are you? They're very cute, baby. <laughs> All right, get in your seat, bud. <laughs> oh, you gotta yeah, hold you it. gotta hold it up so that the milk can be in the nipple. He's like, what's going on, Abel? Mm. Mm. All right, guys, so we're finally home. We're gonna try to catch a bluegill and a bass. And then I'm gonna use this Cinco worm. So that we can do the fish art. Trying to release 
release the worms. Well, you can't release the worms, Riz, or I can't use them. Oh, yeah! No, Sam! Abel, you got him! Good job, dude. Oh, no! Hold him out for me. I got my first fishy, my first blue deal. That is awesome. Oh. We're gonna keep him. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Where we don't put him in the blue deal? <gasps> That's a cool blue deal. It's a bluegill. No way. Dude, nice bass. I got my first bass on, on the little fishing pole. Wow, hold him up with the thumb him. Thumb him. <laughs> bass are actually eating real food today. Hold him hold him up for me, bud. Good job, Abel. Dex, come here. Dex, come on. Oh, it is on set. Hooked Hold him up, up high. Good job, oh dude. Guys, evil. Dexter, no. no. <gasps> oh. Dex, I'm going to let him go. Uh, actually, I think we're going to keep one. We're going to keep that one. Why? We're, we're going to do the fish art with him. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yep. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Pick up the bucket. Here, so we can go do the art, bud. Come on, Riv. Yeah. Okay. Good job, bud. I can't believe you caught two fish all on your own. I know. You were holding up the weight of everybody. Yeah. None of us could catch fish. I Good job, bud. Hey, yummy. All right, guys. So we are back at the house. We got our fish, and it's Gayutaku time. So. I've never done this before, but I'm gonna. I've I've watched a few videos, and I'm gonna try to learn. And I might really get into this. Um, I did a job for a guy uh, yesterday or the day before that does this, and I'd never even heard of it. I've always loved fishing, but I'd never heard of gaitaku, which is the way that the Japanese used to record their fish catches before there were cameras. Step number one: you're gonna take your fish, your catch that you want to record. And you want to take a paper towel, ideally, we've got toilet paper, and just dry them off to get that slime off and get all the dirt. And you want to open up the fins so that it's going to make a nice print. Okay, Abel? You've got to kind of open up the fins. What you're going to want is water-soluble ink, but we've got paint and then watercolor paint. I'll get the ink to do them properly next time, um, but for now, we're going to try this. And then you need rice paper. Right now, I've got butcher paper, which I think is pretty much the same thing. So we'll, we'll lay this out underneath just so we don't make a mess. Oh. Your fish, you clean the other side. You need it. Look, yours is still way too slimy. Ew. Yours? No. My ready, you ready? Do one? Yeah. I, I you want got those fins nice and pulled out. Got them ready to paint. Morgan. So we're going to squirt some of this in there. And then we're going to mix it with a little water to make it a little more, apparently it'll apply better to the fish. That's probably way too much. All right, and then let's get our brush. Stir it together. Okay, we're going to try to take this and paint it on the fish. Gotta get all the details. Now you need to take a paper towel 
and blotch this until it's a nice even coat all the way through anywhere it seems too thick alright we're gonna take this we're gonna take this fish we're gonna lay the paper down and we'll uh, hold on I'm gonna do yours next okay Push down, Can you kind of follow it through. Follow them all the way down to the fins. Press. Once you've worked all the areas in, you peel it up. Oh wow, that is cool. That is cool, guys. I like it. I think I found something I'm gonna like to do. I like that. Can you get that video cam? Oh. Well, I hope you guys saw that. That is my first Gaitaku art right there. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do like four of these. Is, which brush? Do Hold on, Riv. Alright, so you want a nice even coat. I think Abel's paints a little bit. Is it thick? Something's wrong. Yeah, it's a little thick. It doesn't really apply. You could probably properly. water it down. We he did a little. Oh, okay. He just didn't mix it very well. And just kind of get the excess away, which I don't know. How, this one may turn out a little funky. Press down. Press down. Okay. Follow the fins. River. Press down on his tail, okay? Hold it. Hold it down flat. Keep it tight. Got it? Mm -hmm. This may not work. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Okay. And, uh, that's not, not bad. bad. Good job, Abel. It's not bad at all. No. Daddy Good doesn't job. have any faith. Good job, Something's bud. Something's wrong. And try rain. I think you can try to let that one go. Oh, Let's that see. looks really cool. That's cool, Abel. Good job. Abel, I love it. Good job. Not bad. Got a little bit of blood. ghosting. All right, guys. Gaitaku. Um, I want to try a shirt that I have that I'm not worried about, and I want to see if I can imprint it. I don't know if this has ever been done before. This might be the first time ever in the world. Probably not. Nervous about this one. I'm worried about this. Ooh, the tail's a little messed up, but that's pretty cool. Ooh, I like that. I, that, I like this. Oh, I like that. I feel like it's kind of upside down. Ooh, come on, guys. Tell me that's not cool. That's actually not that bad. That is a one of a kind shirt right there. Let's 
see how I look, damn it. Dude, this is cool. I think I got a new favorite thing to do. This is a uh, gaitaku. <laughs> First time ever. And if I stick. If, if this is as much fun as it seems like right now, I might be uh, doing this a lot more. And once I get good at it, let me know if you guys want to buy some gaitaku Clothing. Arf. Clothing, yeah. Ready to throw these delicious slabs of meat on the Traegermeister. <laughs> they need to go on here for 30 to 45 minutes. Apparently you gotta vacuum these out, that's why mine's sparking and John said that that's bad. But I didn't get mine with instructions, we found it free on the side of the road. Thanks to John. Yeah, thanks John.